guys if you are looking for a build which could make your life super easy on nightmare difficulty and on top of that you could carry a couple new players with these without breaking a sweat then this video is perfect for you as usual welcome to insanity I don't want to waste your time guys, it's precious so it's not fair that you, let's get into it and we're gonna create today ridiculous medic setup. My first card is combat medic, use speed is really important, especially at the last mission at act 1, medic will do the dirty work for everybody, rosing speed for revive speed reasons but mainly for trauma resistance guys. As a medic, your priority is to keep everybody alive. Don't invest in cards which are giving benefits from picking up teammates from the ground. That's huge no-no, man. You have to increase healing efficiency and keep everybody alive. If one man will go down, that's a huge disadvantage to whole squad, so you have to avoid it. And I have set up my build in a way once once i will apply medkit to myself or other teammates whole squad will receive buffs i have huge amount of secrets in this build just hold on we are getting to the best part of course as a medic you have to invest in support inventory you have to increase amount of support inventory you can carry with yourself shoulder bag will help you a lot don't worry about damage dealt debuff you're gonna heal everybody and you will still have enough damage to kill riddle or zombies you name it pretty goddamn easily even on nightmare difficulty guys and of course with this card you will receive 20 percent healing efficiency and we are stacking like crazy that healing efficiency and that's kind of broken attribute with some cards because actually you can reach huge amount of benefits to your teammates by stacking it and using experience EMT, <coughs> spoiler alert, <coughs> or any other card. Amamul is really nice card. As a medic, maybe you will use shotgun as I'm using for maximum damage or pistol. But for teammates, now you will be able to drop extra ammo. And again, on nightmare difficulty, sometimes that can be clutch. So don't be shy drop your ammo down you can have 600 smg ammo and so on multi-tool for use speed use speed again is really important in your deck you're gonna apply quicker medkits on your teammates you will pick them quicker from the floor you will quicker open the doors and so on you got the general idea behind use speed guys and again at act one at last mission where you have to launch those seven missiles use speed is extremely handy you will be the person who will heavy lift you will do the dirty work and with your use speed as a medic you're gonna complete easily that mission guys again healing efficiency really important attribute you should really stack it after that amount of supply medkits you can carry with yourself screwdriver for stamina reasons and of course for that extra utility and use speed and like i said you you have to sometimes rush and in those cases stamina is handy to pick up people quickly if someone will go down that's a huge disadvantage if there will be some horde or maybe huge amount of zombie situations like five six tall boys in a row man uh that that's gonna be tough so like i said you have to keep everybody up heal them and by healing one you have to he heal whole squad just check out my footage and again right now my cards are not active all my cards not active but also new burner cards are kind of handy with healers because you can increase trauma resistance resistance against fire and acid so 
you have to apply those cards as well to make your build even stronger and uh, of course sometimes those cards can be pretty goddamn costly if you have to spend 80 supply points but hey by completing nightmare difficulty mission you can easily get over 100 supply points so please don't save supply points at the end come on I think that's the end game, you will buy all the time these cards, for me I have basically unlocked everything, so only thing I can stack right now are these burning burner cards, and yeah, actually, I, if I have to be honest, I feel that Nightmare difficulty is a little bit easier now, especially when everybody has more DPS and the resistance is increased as well and that's kind of handy on nightmare difficulty and one of my last cards but not the least one is medical professional guys by defibrillator you gonna pick up fallen teammates and you're gonna give them one life back and of course you could switch some cards here and there you can mess the order it depends on your preference but in general i think these cards are kind of the best ones of course there are cards where if somebody on your team will go down everybody will receive 20 health but like i said in my eyes doctor or medic should be on your on the duty all the time and your priority is to keep everybody alive and use speed is for quick picking up and in the long run that those 20 hp when people are falling down, I think it's not that uh, important. Uh, maybe you could use cards which could give you your squad extra lives. If there's nobody running the mom on Nightmare Difficulty, you should think about that card as well. But uh, if there is mom, I think there is no reason. Especially if you're gonna use the Fibrillator, you will pick up everybody up and of course you will bring them life back so that's kind of handy and of course uh, you could use maybe card which would show you all the medical supplies all over the place which are hidden also handy card but i feel that this deck is kind of versatile like i said you have use speed healing efficiency with that you will not heal only yourself but your teammates as well by applying medkit to you or to other people so yeah, and also you are stacking quite nicely those medkits. You can, like I said, reach 7-8 medkits by applying upgrades, of course. Uh, and yeah, so with, med with medic or healer, I think Nightmare difficulty is completely easy. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.